Hello everyone, my name is Carlos Lopez and I'm the project leader for the CNC Auto Router Group for the 2011-2012 year in the Electromechanical Engineering Technology Program. Let me tell you a brief history uh, about the CNC machine. This uh, CNC machine project was started by the Mechanical Engineering Technology Program from the years 2004 to the years 2007. As you can see, this was the original design. The base, uh, the frame was the, created by the uh, mechanical program and they were able to get the CNC machine to make this design plate as a demonstration that you see in the picture. This here is a side view of the same CNC machine and if you look on the top left corner, this was the original back panel electrical design. Um, it was very compact and it wasn't very accessible to the user so we decided to make some changes to this back panel as well and we will be demonstrating what we did to the project here we have a video of what has been done to our CNC project as you can see we've added some safety caging to it we have two access doors this is the access door at the back and uh, once you open it you can see the wiring inside that we've added this includes um, a power supply that we've added to the back panel as, uh, along with the Micrologix 1100 PLC and this is the CNC controller that came with the machine originally. There we see uh, the X axis motor and the Z axis motor and you can also see a sensor that we've installed so that it uh, can let us know where the home position for the Z axis is. Um, this is the electrical conduit that we've installed. There's the safety interlock on the right, as well as you can see on the far end, there is a, another shot of the other safety interlock for the other access hatch and the junction box that we've installed. As you can see, um, all the electrical that we've added in the cell. If we move on to the other side, we see the other access door along with that e-stop that we've added. So there's two e-stops in our cell and uh, two door interlocks. There is that second door interlocked along with the uh, electrical junction box there. And here we see the access to the uh, CNC spindle. There's the spindle and uh, you can clearly see the, um, the mounting plate where we, we um, along with the, the clamps that hold down the material that we're going to be CNCing, we're using some woods as an example. If we move on to the other side here, we see the electrical panel box that we've installed. Um, we've added a full safety circuitry with a class 4 safety relay in there. And with double redundancy, meaning there's two normally closed contacts that uh, wire up to this safety circuit for every e-stop and interlock. And the two relays, K1 and K2, one is for the controller and the other one is for the spindle. And uh, Justin's just going to fire up the CNC software here that came with the CNC controller originally. And this is the reset button. Once all the interlocks are okay, good to go, you hit the reset button. And the safety relay will show um, that it's been reset with all the lights being turned on. And there we hit the e-stop and you can see the lights turned off. And uh, if you press the reset, it will not reset because the e-stop is hit. But as soon as you release the e-stop, there you go. See, we've reset it. That's the way the uh, safety relay works. All the interlocks have to be closed and all the e-stops um, also have to be uh, closed in order for the circuit to be reset. Here we have the CNC software. Now I'm just heading over to the other side again and uh, we're just going to run a test on the uh, machine to make sure that the safety works. So Justin is going to, he's jogging the uh, Y axis right now as you can see it's moving and uh, I'm going to be opening the door pretty soon. There see it stopped immediately after the door was open and uh, I'm just going to close the door and Justin's going to reset the safety circuit and he's going to jog it back the other way there's a machine um, coming back to the uh, same position that it was before and then as soon as I open the door 
you can see that uh, the motor stopped spinning. I'm going to run a test on the spindle. Justin's just going to reset the safety circuit and you can hear the spindle kicking in right now. And he's going to jog the x-axis now towards the right. As you can see the x-axis just started to move. And both the spindle and the x-axis are moving. This is uh, as soon as I open the gate. Both of them stop functioning. And I'm going to close the gate and he's going to reset the circuit. So those are pretty much our two loads. This is the motor is one load and the spindle is the other load and the safety circuit controls it. And as you can see as soon as the gate is open, both of them stop functioning. And for this next portion I'll be describing the functionality of our strobe light that we have installed. If any one of the four interlocks are tripped it'll flash red but as soon as you close all of them um, it'll flash yellow meaning it's ready to be reset as soon as you hit the reset button it turns solid yellow and as soon as you turn the spindle switch on it'll turn green turning on the spindle if you were to t turn the spindle switch off it'll go back to a solid yellow state right there the spindle was turned off and uh, back on to green and if you hit any one of the e-stops it'll just flash red until you go through the sequence again.